We'll start by creating an account in the Coolest Frosty's Ice Cream Store and then we'll save the record and you'll see that the account number has been defaulted to 1. If we create a new account and call this one Frosty's Bakery and then save the record, you'll see that now the account number has defaulted to 2. If we create a third account called Frosty's Cake Store, you'll see that the account number has now been defaulted to 3. And if we go into the settings and click on incremental numbering and you can open the account number record and you can set the entity schema name and field schema name that the auto numbering will run on. And you'll see the number length which sets the length of numbers in the auto numbering and the current position that the auto numbering is up to. And you'll also see a static prefix where you can set some characters to appear in front of the auto numbering. So we'll say ACC dash and save the record. And then when we create a new account and call this one Frosty's Toy Store and save the record, you'll see that now the account number has ACC dash in front of the auto numbering. And if we create a new account now called Frosty's Sports Store and save the record, you'll see that now it's auto numbered to 5. And also you'll see the current position has now updated to 5.